a free report about bringing digital health into practice. This is Bertala Meshko, and you're watching the channel of the Medical Future. With the spread of social media and disruptive technologies such as health sensors, artificial intelligence or robotics, a new era has begun in healthcare. The ivory tower of medicine is breaking down. Patients are becoming empowered. Technologies are changing the status quo of the doctor-patient relationship. This new era can only thrive if policies are comprehensive and efficient. Now, pressure also comes from consumers who can access data, information and those technologies. They don't wait anymore for policymakers to make a technology available, but turn to new technologies if that helps alleviate pain, better manage their disease or lead to a cure. One of the biggest frustrations for patients is the inability to contact their doctors as fast as they would like to. In Denmark, it is compulsory for all primary care physicians to offer their patients communication via email. The US Food and Drug Administration created a new unit dedicated strictly to digital health. They hired engineers and developers to prepare the agency to regulate a future in which healthcare is full of machines. Canada recognized how massively technology started to shape healthcare. A Canadian Senate committee invited experts to share their opinion about what the future of medicine would look like. In this first report, they focused on robotics, artificial intelligence and 3D printing. Responsible governments prepare their citizens for technological changes. They listen to people to shape policy according to real needs. This is why the Medical Futurist Institute collected best practices of digital health for policymakers. The report aims to help adopt digital health safely, efficiently and quickly. The examples emphasize patient centricity, the appropriate regulation of disruptive technologies, the prevention of ethical challenges and the promotion of the use of digital health. Please download it for free on the link below and share it with policymakers worldwide. Thank you.